This video shows you how to create these Bricks Media Query Loop files, which are in fact the WordPress attachment post type with conditional logic. While browsing in Google Chrome, the query files are completely visible, whereas Firefox browsing the same design is invisible. A media attachment query loop can be used to display specific media files associated with each custom post type project. By using a media query loop, you can control over how these media files are displayed in a specific order, style or layout. Combining a query loop with a custom post type allows you for dynamic content display. We can dynamically retrieve and display this content in various ways, by custom fields, taxonomies, or based on the element conditions you set inside Brooks Builder. I have here already set up a custom post type, which I called listings. I'm just going to keep this really simple. And this comes from my previous tutorial, where I showed you how to create a dynamic template in Bricks Builder with the Advanced Custom Fields plugin. And the link will be available for you in case you want to check it out. I also have ACF fields associated with my listing custom post type. Under the settings and locations, you can see that they are associated with the listing custom post type. And with Bricks, we have the chance to query for media files. And by using a media query loop, you can control how these media files are displayed and perfect for galleries or product pages in e-commerce sites. And here are the easy to follow steps. So I create, I create a Bricks template. Go to Bricks templates, click to add a new one. Give it a name and here at the right sidebar, I click to be an in a section. Click to publish and then edit with bricks. And the template conditions is set to add to individual page and then I specify to be my Zarta house. This one, which is a custom post type. And then to populate the content, I set that to be a single post page. Then I select it, apply the changes, let the bricks to reload the interface and apply the preview. And next up, I will pull in dynamically the post title as well as the ACF field property price associated with this listing custom post type. And I already pulled up the post title and the best price by using the post title and a rich text to bring the my ACF best price. To create a custom media gallery using the query loop builder inside Bricks Builder, I will need to add a container element. Inside the container, I will add in a block element. And I drop into my block element an image. In the container, you will set a flex wrap. And in the block, we will activate the query loop. Perfect. Now we determine the media, so we can go with posts, terms or users. We go with posts and we specify under the post type to be media. And now we can customize and define the number of posts per page. The order could be a random. So every time a user is browsing this page, he views a different image. And this, the MIME type is by default Bricks queries for images, but we can specify other MIME types separated by a comma like this. Image, PNG, image, WebP, and so on, right? Under the block element, I will set now the width and height. And for the image, you will determine dynamically the post ID. And the object fit is set to cover and the height to 300 pixels. And next up, we could assign the column and the row gap to be, for instance, 10 pixels or 20 pixels. 
that's really up to you and it's beautiful optionally you could customize it further by adding an image overlay like this to match my site design and that's it and this is how it looks at the front end by using the Chrome browser. Rix Builder lets you restrict the visibility of any element and this is perfect for restricting content based on your own parameters. And to access an element conditions inside Rix Builder, you simply click on the conditions toggle icon in the panel header and once you activate it, you click on the plus icon to set your conditions in order to render or not to elements and this is conditional logic functionality in which an item is not rendered based on the rules you specify and each condition consists of three prop properties the key, the comparison operand and the value I want to create a simple condition where the element is only rendered when the user is browsing in Google Chrome. When browsing on Firefox, the element is completely not visible. So you click a condition. I want to keep this really simple. So I do a quick search for browser. There it is. And now is choose here his chrome and in this example the browser is the key the is is the comparison operand and the chrome is the value and therefore in google chrome browsing this is completely rendered at the front end whereas in firefox incognito mode the gallery element is totally invisible thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this Please like the video. In the meantime, I suggest you click on the video you are viewing on the screen to learn how to create a completely dynamic archive page in Bricks Builder with advanced custom fields and custom post types.